What's up guys, today Apple released iOS 10.3 beta 1, so let's take a look and see what's new. So the first new feature is Find My AirPods. Now this is kind of funny because when the AirPods first came out, there was actually an app on the App Store that allowed you to do this same thing, and Apple actually removed it, uh, probably knowing that this feature was coming. So you can, you can see here it says Mike's AirPods, and if you click Actions, you can actually play a sound. So if I hit Play a Sound, they start playing on my AirPods here, and you might be able to hear it. So you can probably hear that sound, that chirping sound from my AirPods, and you can hit stop playing uh, once you've found them. Uh, be careful though, don't test out this feature uh, if the AirPods are in your ear, because you will be deaf after you do that. Next up is Unified Apple ID Settings in the Stock Settings app. So if I open the Settings app here, this is what you'd usually see on anything below 10.3. But now when you open the Settings app here, you actually see a new pane at the top. It shows your name, and if you click on it, uh, it shows everything associated with your account. So name, phone numbers, email, password security, payment and shipping, everything associated with your Apple ID. If you need to change anything here, you can. So family sharing, iTunes, App Store, iCloud, you can manage all your devices, you can sign out. Uh, so this is pretty much one unified hub in the settings app to manage uh, your entire user. So I found here on Twitter, a person said that iOS 10.3 uses a new file system. And if I click on this photo, you can see it says, it says file system conversion. And uh, Apple is now using a new file system, I guess, for iOS. And it says, uh, you really should back up your device before installing. There's no downgrading once migrated uh, to the new Apple file system. So before, for example, if you were on iOS 10.2 beta, there was a way for you to downgrade back to the previous iOS version. But since there's a new file system here, uh, you will not be able to downgrade uh, to a previous firmware on my device. So I guess right now I am stuck on iOS 10.3. Also new is a new 3D touch action in the Maps application. So when you are zoomed in close enough to your current location, Maps can tell you the weather. Now it's been able to do this uh, since the launch of iOS 10, but now you can actually 3D touch on this weather to get an hourly forecast. And if you keep pressing in, it'll take you to the weather app. So kind of nice to be able to 3D touch and uh, be able to see the hourly forecast for your area. Uh, just for those who were wondering, unfortunately there aren't any new wallpapers in iOS 10.3. So there's no new still wallpapers no new live wallpapers, unfortunately, and no new dynamic wallpapers. I don't think Apple has updated uh, the, the dynamic wallpapers for like three years now. So uh, maybe in another beta, but as it stands right now, there's no new wallpapers in 10.3. Also new is a new widget now. So the podcast app now has a widget. So if I swipe over here, you can see there's a new widget for podcasts. And if I just tap on it, it'll start playing. Uh, for some reason, mine doesn't show the thumbnail of my podcast. So that might be a glitch in the beta. But if you listen to a lot of podcasts on your iPhone, there is a new widget. And uh, from the lock screen, you can also access it from there. So if I swipe down, you can see uh, there's the widget. So after looking through my entire device, control center, settings, display settings, I couldn't find any traces of the rumored theater mode uh, that was apparently going to be here in iOS 10.3. Uh, hopefully, maybe in a future beta, but Apple doesn't usually do that. Uh, they'll usually release major features on the first beta. So it may be in iOS 10.4, but as it stands right now, uh, there is no theater mode in iOS 10.3. Another new feature is in the settings app here under iTunes and App Store, and it allows you to uh, uh, send app ratings and reviews to developers. Now this is on a system level. Uh, now this is for developers to request app ratings. So when you're in an application, uh, they might send a push notification asking uh, for you to send feedback about the application. So I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want those annoying pop-ups. But if you wanna be able to send feedback to the developers, you can turn that on if you want to. So guys, those are all the new features I could find in iOS 10.3. Uh, like I said earlier, I am very sad that there is no theater mode as it was uh, the biggest rumor that was circulating about 10.3. Uh, like I said, maybe in a future beta we will see that. Anyway, leave a comment down below if you find anything in 10.3 that I didn't mention in this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one.